Hola, amigos. I'm Anna, and with Zach, we bring you Discover Mexico City, our thrilling seven-day travel experience, where you will dive into the city's captivating culture, history, and food with us. In this video, we will be sharing our exciting adventures from the first two days. We traded Boston's snowy landscape for Mexico City's warm, sun-kissed afternoon upon our arrival. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mexico City. We then took a Uber to our Airbnb in the city, which cost us less than twenty dollars. We rented a charming condo in the tranquil Polanco neighborhood. The space has a balcony, which we absolutely loved. It has one bedroom and a bathroom. After checking in, we headed to Liverpool, a local shopping mall, not to buy anything but to pick up our next day soccer game tickets. Soccer is a huge thing in Mexico, and Zach, a big fan, wanted to catch a game at the Aztec Stadium with locals. Due to the long lines and confusions, we didn't have any success the first day to get our tickets, so we decided to have our dinner first. We picked the well-known taco place, Taqueria Orinoco, as our first meal. They are famous for its taco de chicharron, a Monterey-style fried pork rinds. They have a very simple menu. We decided to try their frijoles charros and all three types of tacos, chicharron, dress, and el pasta. We first tried the frijoles charros, a classic Mexican dish. It is named after the traditional Mexican cowboy horseman, or charros. This dish features pinto beans simmered with onion, garlic, and bacon, creating a symphony of flavors. We absolutely adored it. The savory, smoky, and mildly spicy notes perfectly primed our palates for the delicious tacos to come. Dress. Chicharron. They provide a good variety of sauces. I first tried the chicharron taco, which I never had before. See how big a chunk of meat. Add some lime juice, a full spoon of salsa. Let's have a bite. Into the mouth, there is an explosion of flavors and textures. The outside layer of the chicharron is so crispy, and inside is soft. Together with the toppings, such as fresh cilantro, diced onions, and zesty salsa, the taco is savory and packed with a rich, meaty taste. The crunchiness of the chicharron contrasts delightfully with the soft, warm corn tortilla. Next, let's try the taco de pastor. We had our best pastor in Playa del Carmen last year at a place called El Fungo, which we can never forget. So we always compare any pastor with that one. Pastor is a marinated pork, which is traditionally cooked on a vertical spit. The pork is seasoned with a mix of spices, including achiote, chilies, and pineapple juice, giving it a unique combination of smoky, tangy, and subtly sweet flavors. Surely a slice of pineapple is also included. The pasta here is good, but we still believe the one we had in Playa del Carmen is better. We took a walk in the city after our meal to help digest the food before retiring for the night. On day two, we ventured beyond the city center to the enchanting neighborhood of Coyoacan, located just a 20 minutes drive to the south. This historic district is one among the oldest in Mexico City and has a rich cultural heritage. Coyoacan, which translates to place of coyotes, was once a separate village, serving as the capital of the Aztec province of Coyoacan in the 15th century and later becoming a key location of the Spanish conquest. 
Early on this Saturday morning, we find ourselves in the heart of Koyuaken, surrounded by lush greenery and cheerful locals training their dogs. The mm. Our next stop is this stunning Baroque Catholic church, dating back to the early 16th century. The breathtaking artwork on the ceilings and walls truly showcases the rich artistic heritage of this historic neighborhood. Afterwards, we decided to grab some breakfast. We stopped by this very famous old coffee place, which was established in 1953. We ordered a latte and a harocho special. We sat on those chairs next by the street and enjoyed the coffee the local way. The coffee was good but very mild. We went back to the central park of the town and picked up some baked goods. Settling down on a bench, we enjoyed a delightful breakfast in the serene surroundings. Hola, buenos dias. After breakfast, we took a 10-minute Uber to San Angel where there is an art market open every Saturday, Bazaar Sabado. Bazaar Sabdo has been a beloved tradition for locals and visitors since 1960s. This weekly market showcases the incredible talent and creativity of local artisans. As you wander through the stalls, you will discover an array of handmade products including colorful textiles, intricate ceramics, and eye-catching jewelry. This is a great place to find a one-of-a-kind souvenir or a thoughtful gift for a loved one. At one stall, we had the chance to taste a variety of chili oils. Yes. Well, this is spicy first. Okay. Yep. I'll try this. We decided to purchase the spiciest option, eager to bring a touch of authentic Mexican flavor back home with us. In addition to the indoor market, Bazaar Sabado also has tons of outdoor vendors, mostly displaying gorgeous paintings and various art forms. These outdoor exhibits grabbed our attention with their vivid and diverse collection of arts. As we walk through the open-air stores, we come across a range of eye-catching paintings. Covering everything from traditional Mexican saints and folklore to modern abstract pieces. <laughs> the lively vibe and visual explosion of creativity make this outdoor art bazaar a must see spot when you visit Bazaar Sabado. As we left Bazaar Sabado, we found ourselves strolling through the charming cobblestone streets of San Angel. We came across a peaceful church, tucked away just a short walk from the busy market and town center. Let's take a moment to enjoy the soothing serenity that surrounds this beautiful spot.
We then went back to Coyoacan, where we explored the famous Frida Kahlo Museum, also known as the Blue House. Make sure you make a reservation and purchase ticket online. This vibrant and colorful sanctuary was once the home of the legendary Mexican artist Frida Kahlo, and now serves as a museum dedicated to preserving her memory, unique artistic style, and fascinating personal story. The museum is not big, but features an extensive collection of her artwork, including some of her most famous self-portraits. As well as an array of personal belongings that offer insights into her life and the relationships. The other most enchanting aspects of the Blue House is its stunning garden, where Frida found inspirations. Our visit took about one half hours, which has given us a profound appreciation for the life, art, and spirit of one of Mexico's most influential artists. Now it's time for a late lunch at a local hot spot. We are heading to the Mercado Coyoacan, a local market. It is one of Mexico City's most iconic markets. You can see vendors offer everything from fresh produce and clothing to household items. This market is the go-to place for local grocery shopping. It is like a window into daily local life. The market is good for anyone who wants a truly local experience. Our mission: to track down a popular food stall called Tostadas Coyoacan and indulge in some delicious tostadas. Getting around the huge market can be a bit tricky. But we are determined to find the tostadas Coyo Akin. Once we finally spot it, it's easy to see because of the crowd of excited customers gathered around the stall. We decided to order three types of tostadas to sample the diverse flavors: ceviche, popo. And cochinita. 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 Popo. Ceviche. Looks good. Tostadas akin to tacos feature deep fried tortillas instead of soft ones, providing a deliciously crunchy twist. We also got two drinks: one coconut juice, the other one tamarindo. Both have fresh fruit chunks in it. They are so refreshing. The tostadas turn out to be super tasty, with crispy tortillas and flavorful meat. Every bite is made even better by the perfect mix of avocado, cheese, and salsa. This amazing combo of flavors creates a taste experience you won't forget. All three types of tostadas, each with its own unique flavor, have definitely been worth the hunt. After lunch. We further explored the market. Mercado Coyoacan serves as a vital hub for the local community, where residents come to shop, socialize, and enjoy the rich culinary traditions of Mexico. With its lively environment and seemingly endless variety of goods, there is always something new and exciting to uncover. Our next stop is further south to the University City, where the National Autonomous University, or UNAM, is located. UNAM is a public research university and consistently ranked as one of the best in Latin America. This vast campus is not only an academic powerhouse but also a vibrant culture hub. 
The university city was designed by some of Mexico's best-known architects of the 20th century. The university city also hosted the 1968 Summer Olympics. In the distance, where the national flag is, you can see the football stadium. We didn't go inside, but we heard that the stadium features a mural by Diego Rivera. The must-see is definitely the Central Library, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, painted with many dramatic murals that chronicle Mexico's rich history. We also got a chance to go inside. When we walk in the campus, we also find an abundance of students' clubs and activities that showcase the university's creative spirit. We came across multiple groups of students practicing their dance routine. As we keep exploring, we are lucky enough to catch a really heartwarming moment. It looks like it's graduation season. We saw graduates all dressed up in their caps and gowns, snapping pictures with their proud, smiling parents. This is one of the best universities in Mexico, and its acceptance rate is usually below 10%. The parents must be very proud of their children. After our quick visit to University City, we ended our day with an awesome time at the famous Aztec Stadium. There we got to join local fans for a super exciting soccer match. This unforgettable experience gave us a really unique look at Mexican culture. Keep an eye out for an upcoming video where we will take you through the whole process of buying and picking up soccer game tickets and really dive into the thrill of a soccer game in Mexico. Stay tuned!